want to help Mama? No, no. We don't talk about Bruno. What? Is it sticky, Noel? Eh? Okay, if it's sticky, that means we need to add a little bit more flour. Oh. Mm hmm. I want it to be not too sticky but soft. Okay, let Mama feel. Let me see. Let me see. Actually, it's pretty good. So, you want like the perfect consistency for these. You don't want it to be too sticky and also like not like soft enough. And so, you want to be able to like make a ball like this without it sticking to your hand. And that's like the perfect consistency. I'll link all the details in the description below and the full like recipe because this is my second time making it. And I'm so excited to be able to do it with Noelle because it's almost like playing with Play Doh. So, and I know she loves that. Is that fun? Okay, now that we have a good dough, we're gonna like make <laughs> Is it squishy? Yeah. It's so squishy. So now we're gonna make a bunch of V's because this is gonna go into the soup later. <gasps> wow. We gotta wash these baby hands. Wash hands. Okay, here, let's move to the table so we can go wash. Time to wash. Wash hands. Holy! Yeah, no, 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 no. Like this big. Hello friends! I probably should have used a laundry basket instead of just like hugging all of my laundry and just throwing it on the bed but let me know if you do that too because I find that it's much easier sometimes but thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the beginning portion of this vlog where Noelle and I were making Tong Yun. I made it for my family and I was able to gift it to my grandma because it's actually her recipe and she called me yesterday and she told me that she loved it, that it tastes exactly like how she used to make it and even better than her version version and I'm like whoa grandma don't say that because you know like she's the best you know so I was just so happy to do it and make it and share it with her because it's literally been like 
10 years since any of us in our family has really had that dish and I just got a craving for it and usually we eat it during winter solstice time so winter time and my grandparents would make a big batch and our whole entire family would come over to their house and just eat soup and hang out and warm up because that's like the whole purpose of making this soup it's really like a communal experience and so it was just really awesome to be able to make it for Lunar New Year and gift it to my grandma and when she told me that she thought my version of the soup tasted better than hers and my grandpa's version I'm like oh my gosh this is like the highest compliment I could ever receive like once I have grandma's approval my papa's approval we're good we're good and we were able to visit her I brought Noelle and it was just so sweet seeing her hang out with my grandma picking fruit from her kumquat tree and just like hang out doing things that I used to do when I was little and hang out with my grandma when I was growing up so it's such a surreal full circle moment experience and I'm just so excited to be able to share this recipe with you. I was chatting with a lot of you on Instagram and you were also telling me that you grew up eating this dish and how it just reminded you of your childhood and I'm just so excited that we can like relive our childhood together and just continue on traditions and I feel like a lot of the recipes that I grew up eating like no one really makes it anymore so I'm kind of taking it upon myself to like figure out the recipe or learn as much as I can from my grandma my parents and just really hold on to that because I've come to realize that if I don't take the initiative to learn these things then Noelle won't get to experience them especially the traditions that I really want to pass on so I hope that resonates with you and I just wanted to share a little piece of that so I'm so excited it's super yummy to make um, I made a whole batch I'm gonna make some more like later I'm gonna take a break from cooking but it was just so heartwarming being able to share that with my family so let me know if you end up recreating the soup it's not too hard to make it's just a lot of prep work and then you kind of add it all together but yes tag me on Instagram or tag me in the comments below if you end up making this soup and let me know what you think. I hope you all are having the most wonderful day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys!